Doctor, what's out there? What did this to him? Tro... they're called Trodon Pectinodon. They were meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no! I kept them in quarantine, for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. You knew about those damn creatures all along. While we were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pilot... Billy, wait! We were nearly killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things, just like decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar's dead! All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you! Oscar doesn't want this. He died helping us all survive. He wouldn't want her dead. Had he known, though! Anyway, this witch is a liar. She's lied to all of us. Put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please, if I knew sooner, ah, I... shut it! Yes, she lied to all of us, but she also helped when she could. Nima is alive because of her. She could have warned us! I wasn't entirely sure yet. For all I knew, she could have gotten into the quarantine pens. Oh, so what, I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes! I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account for it! Just it, Billy. She's not the one responsible. This falls on the shoulders of Hammond and Ingen, and now we're all suffering for it. Still, Billy, let her go. We need every able mind and body we can get. All she has to say is, "It's my fault. It's my fault." Come on, Doc. Let me hear it. No, it wasn't. Say it. It's, it's. My fault. There. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Your friends may have saved you here. At least I got the truth out of you. If you want her alive, you got her. <sighs> you just mark my words. She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Now, everyone make themselves useful. I've got a tender to you. Look, we can't stay here long. Let's just give Billy a minute and see if we can find anything useful. A way out, even. Okay. We'll do a sweep of the room and check in when we're done. Agreed? Leave the door alone. We're not going back out that way. Why not? Because we aren't backtracking, and those damn creatures could still be out there. I don't see anything. Maybe it's clear. Locked. I don't want to get stuck at a vent with a dinosaur. Besides, there's blood everywhere. Ow! Hot! Jess, stay away from the vents. No more sneaking off, understand? I'm not going anywhere, Dad. These Trodon, what else can you tell me about them? Well, they're nocturnal. They're intelligent, like raptors, but they don't hunt like them. They envenomate with a single bite, then back off. Stalk their prey. Their teeth are serrated and retain saliva, and the saliva is saturated with a toxin. Nima's bite. It was from a Trodon? Yes, definitely. Nima, what can you remember about that animal that bit you? I didn't see it when it attacked. It went by so fast. It was dark. After it bit me, I became confused, like, like I'd been drugged. I remember there were many of them. They had glowing eyes. Glowing eyes? Yeah, like ojos del lobo.
What about this grate? It looks big enough for everyone. And it looks like it's heading in the right direction. Just great. It's locked. Anyone happen to have a key? Are you okay? Jess, hon, leave him alone. So if this whole trip was, like, set up to scare me away from shoplifting, mission accomplished. I don't understand. I thought the dinosaurs couldn't breed. They can't. They're all female. Then how do they lay eggs? Theropods shed eggs just like most other ovip... Um, egg-laying animals. Think about chickens. The whole egg market is made up of unfertilized eggs, right? Oh, yeah. So they still have to lay them? Oh, my. What is it? You bring up a good point about our dinosaurs ovulating. But these eggs are gathered in a clutch. This is brooding behavior. So, chickens will brood a large enough clutch? But not our dinosaurs. I've found post-ovulatory eggs in the ranges. They're mal-shaped, usually destroyed or kicked into the bush. I see. Wait, it, we can't jump to any conclusions. How could this even be possible? Could a girl dino turn into a boy dino? With Dr. Wu's slapdash approach to gene sequencing, anything could go wrong. Billy, we should cover decaf. I don't want Jess to see this. Yeah. Could I pick this lock? Not that I would know how, but I don't want to add breaking an entry onto my dad's list of my criminal tendencies. This tunnel looks tall enough for everyone. Maybe we should go this way. Jess, stand back from the grate. You don't know what's down there. I'm just trying to help. I know, Jess. I just can't keep my attention on everything at hand, plus you. Sorry to be such a burden. Maybe we should get going. Are you sure? Yeah, if you're ready, Billy. Billy, did you find something? No, nothing. Is everyone ready? What about decaf? I took care of that. It looked like you took something off him. And if he has something that will help us... I didn't find anything. I took his dog tags. Insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned. Satisfied? Right. Sorry for pushing. Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. Look, I know where his body is. We're not equipped to transport it. Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bygones, understand? Doc, tell me again about the phones. Um, according to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones Too are- Too far away, okay? And we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels? They're all interconnected. I think I can still find- The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we gonna get there? Trodon could still be out there. We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to- Shh. I will not be shushed. The door. Oh no. Yeah. 
coming through the vent! Past the door. Terry, <laughs> get that grate open. I'm on it. I need something to break the lock. We'll grab that something. I know! I know! Oh no! Which way, Laura? I don't know where we are anymore. We we need. 
way, Laura. I don't know, Jerry. We must be 40 feet underground. I have no idea where we are. Well, we can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. We might have outpaced them, but we're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? Um, look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes, yes, okay. We're at a four-way intersection. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. Okay, we just have to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. Maybe I can help with the plans. They look pretty simple. I just don't have enough details to make a decision. down the corridors. I need to know what you see. Describe it in as much detail as you can. There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling partway down the corridor. There's a ladder on the right, and on the far wall at the end. It looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. The tunnel goes straight and then turns to the right. a set of water tanks part way down the corridor on the right. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. I think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? I'm positive. We must be here. It's the only one that completely matches our surroundings. Okay, here we are. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. 
We follow any water mains at junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route. I have to go find her! What? Back down there? With those monsters? No, Jerry. She needs you safe. Jess is a strong and resourceful girl. She's doing like we are doing. Surviving. You can't know that! I won't leave her to those animals! Jerry, look at me. If we go back down there, we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder. The others escaped down the tunnel we were gonna follow. We know where they're going. The marine exhibit. That's where Laura would take her. And Yoder is with them. Oh, God. If we're going to join them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? I don't know. I don't even know where we are. I'll figure out where we are. Sorkin was following water mains. Where would they go? Most of the water is piped in from a lagoon to the north. Lagoon? I know this place. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. Por el amor de Dios. Do you know where we are? Let me think. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. Engine has changed it so much. Nima, this island. There's more to it, isn't there? To you, I mean. Yes. It is very dear to me. Tell me. I grew up here, you know? Below those trees. My people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water during the fishing season. I loved the water. I would swim in the ocean. So far. That's why my father called me Nima. I see now. You and your family used to live on this island? My family. Everyone. My whole tribe. This had been our home for thousands of years. I could go anywhere. Run in the jungle. Climb the trees. These monsters. There was never anything like them on this island before. It was all very peaceful before Injun bought the island from Costa Rica. What does your name mean? It means little fish. You know, like uh, the ones that have so many colors. I didn't realize this island had been inhabited before. Ingen moved your people? They promised us homes and medicine. Education. They didn't keep their promise. I guess from your point of view, they did. 
but the homes were slums and the medicine was extra or half used or contaminated. We had schools, but no teachers. The island is so different now. I know the island. It's part of me. But when Injun came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression so that Costa Rica could ask Injun for a good deal of money for our island. When he was in Costa Rica, he was asked to cut his hair and wear a suit so that he wouldn't seem sick. I don't want to seem indifferent, but I really need to find Jess. <laughs> You're right. I'm not always so... Uh, Como se dice, uh, talkative. Fine. Let's get moving then. All right, Jerry. Enough talk. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. Dilophosaurus? Hello? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern day birds. For instance, we now know that many theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic period's vocal organs are just like modern birds. We are arriving at the fourth of seven lookouts along the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine Facility and Aquarium. Would you look at this? What are they? They look like feeder tanks. This could be a hatchery. A hatcher what? They're raising these fish to feed another animal. Like at Marine World. Like the killer whales? Precisely. That's a lot of fish. How many whales are they feeding? I don't know. It looks like each of these tanks could feed three or four orcas per day. Oh, well, you're a fish expert now. I can make an educated guess. Look, there's a sign over there. It looks like a schedule or something. This is a hatchery. That's the stocking schedule for the tanks. Some tells me these fish aren't for feeding whales, huh, Doc? Hold up. All clear. Dad! Jess! Oh, thank God! Are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I I'm okay. Just, can we go home now? I'm so glad you two are safe, Jerry. How did you manage to get here? We climbed out of the tunnels through a service hatch near one of the tour routes. Luckily, someone left the tour program running. Thanks. You mean... Dr. Sorkin, the phones are not working. I'm sorry? There is no dial tone. You said the phones would be working here. That's odd. My control terminal showed that the main lines here were active. Unless... Of course. Everything is controlled by the computer systems, even the phones. If the power outage outlasted the battery backups, then the system is probably just waiting to be booted up. Get us to the phones, Doc. We don't have a lot of time. Mr. Yoder, I refuse to be pushed around by you any longer. Look, this isn't a day trip. If we don't contact Injin and get another helicopter out here for you all, the next flight over the island is gonna be a wing of B-52s carrying holy hellfire! What?! That's right, Doc. We're gonna murder all your precious little pets and sink this island into the Pacific! Dios mio! That's what you meant by Ground Zero? Yeah, that's right. Why didn't you tell me earlier? This is my home! What do you mean, your home? I didn't tell you earlier because I thought we'd be off the island by now. This island is the ancestral home of her people. Wait, what is Dr. Sorkin doing? 
Laura. Wait, what are you? Where is she going? I don't know. This rotunda, it's where the control room is. She's going to the phones without us. Damn it, get that elevator back up here. Oh, they've really made a lot of progress in construction here. Paleozoic, huh? Well, most of the specimens here aren't really from the Jurassic period anyway. Ah, Paleozoic. From oldest to newest. Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. Interesting concept. Living fossils. Well, I guess you can't expect a mosquito to feed on fish swimming hundreds of meters under the sea. This little pool's cool. Were these creatures all cloned like the dinosaurs? No, these aren't actually extinct animals, Jess. They live in the oceans today. They're called living fossils because they haven't evolved much from the ancient fossil forms discovered by paleontologists. Oh, is that a horseshoe crab? Could be. To be honest, I don't really know all that much about sea fauna. <laughs> fauna. How you holding up, Jess? I can't stop shaking. I'd literally rather be back in jail for shoplifting. I'm just so tired of running, Dad. I know, I know, me too. But we're safe for now. How did you two get here so fast? A tour vehicle picked us up. Great. Here I was running for my life in those tunnels, and you two are on a date. A date? Give me a break. Why do you have an aquarium here? Can you even clone an ancient fish? Not as far as I know. I don't know of any amphibious mosquitoes. Huh? Well, you remember how the tour explained that we get our dino DNA from fossilized mosquitoes, right? Mosquitoes can't exactly bite an animal that spends its life underwater. Oh yeah, good point. Dad, I'm so sorry I caused all this trouble. Hey, hey, this isn't your fault. It is! With the smoking, the dinosaurs, the stealing, my grades, I, I don't mean to be such a screw-up all the time. Look, Jess, I know I can come down on you hard sometimes. I just, I feel like I have to cram months of being a dad into the few short days I get with you. But you're an amazing young woman. I'm proud of you, and I just, I don't want you to have to make the same mistakes I've made. I, I don't want to do this anymore, Dad. Can't we just wait here for another rescue? That's what we're going to do. But first we have to call for that other rescue. What if it goes just as bad as the first one? Hey, look at me. We'll get through this. What do I always say about the glass of water being half full or half empty, huh? Hey, hey I, ordered I ordered a, a beer. beer. That's my girl. I'll be by the elevator, all right? Okay, Dad. Great. Where would the training manual be? Is everything all right between you two? Mind your own business and get the elevator running. I wasn't talking to you. No more fighting. Things are bad enough as they are. Information. Sure could use some now. Oh good. Instructions. Insert operator's key into key slot. Okay. Etc. Etc. Code expires in 24 hours. Morning operations reset procedure. Turn key counterclockwise to input notch and hold for three seconds. Keypad will reset and beep three times. Turn key clockwise to reset. Enter previous code, then new code. Huh, that's easy enough. Huh, very clever. Looks like they're using numbers from the dates of the Paleozoic era as daily key codes. Okay. So the plaque for the Paleozoic era preceded the oldest period at the display. Maybe the sequence doesn't start at the beginning of the week. Today is Saturday. I need Friday's code.
Silurian. Silurian. Good a guess as any. Okay, let's try it at the elevator. Billy, you wouldn't happen to know the order of the Paleozoic periods, would you? Oh, sure, Jerry. First, second, third, overtime, and penalty shootout. Oh, yeah. Good. I get it. Just hurry up. photo. Devonian. Named after Devonshire. Maybe. Try this one. Crud. Must have picked the wrong photo. Permian. Sounds right. Okay, best guess. New code. Let's keep it simple. <gasps> hey, don't open that. Are you crazy? Someone will see. Relax. See what? Damn it, you careless idiot. What was that thing? Some kind of spy gear? Yeah, that's right. Top secret. In fact, if you tell anyone about it, I'll have to kill you. You won't lay a finger on her. I was just kidding around. Everyone, I got the elevator working. <sighs> about time. What's going on here? Nothing. We're all cool. Get over it. Let's go. We don't got all day.
Dad, my ear. Attention. What's yes. going on? The Lagoon Rotunda and Spectacular is housed in a pressurized underwater environment. We suggest you pinch your nose and push your breath to equalize your ears while we descend. If you experience any lasting discomfort or feel unusually giddy, let your attendant know immediately. Giddy? They're talking about nitrogen narcosis. It's a risk of breathing pressurized air. What makes you the expert? I, uh, saw it in a movie. Whoa! Is that where we're going? I think so. This is so cool. Careful, I'll lead. Cool. Look at that. I want to speak with Hammond. No, this can't wait. Can you connect me to Mr. McGuire? Or no, Peter Ludlow. Please hurry. No, look. This is Dr. Laura Oh, Sorkin. I have a bad I feeling about of the this. Park. I am still on the premises. Get me somebody. Parker, I do not need rescuing. I do not want the bombing waylaid. I want it stopped. What? It's not contaminated. This it's is locked from the inside. Preserve. These animals are not diseased. They are extremely endangered. You're not hey, listening Dad, to me. This looks like an intercom up here. What? Where? Good find, honey. Laura, it's me, Jerry. Laura? Jerry, I hear you, and I'm glad you're here. This is gonna be a lot easier now. What have you been doing? We're gonna stop the bombing, Jerry. This island must be preserved. I have taken the remaining survivors hostage. There are four others, three Americans and one Costa Rican. I won't let them go unless the plans to bomb the island are completely rescinded. How dare you leverage us as pawns? We want off the island. Help us or let us go. Five people are better than one. Protesting is a game of measurable attrition. Protest? My god, this isn't a political maneuver? You're putting us in danger to serve your own agenda? We deserve a chance to survive! Think about Jess, Laura. This isn't something you want on your conscience. I'm sorry, Jerry. I need you here. We've got to do something. Like what? We're stuck between two locked doors. We wouldn't be in this mess if I had killed her when I had the chance. If you don't offer me some sort of guarantee that the island will be preserved, I will have to escalate matters. This is lunacy! Fine, put the military on the phone. Hello? Hello? You want to see contamination of the global ecosystem? What are they saying? Are they going to stop the bombs? Laura! Laura, please, listen to them. Listen to reason. You're being irrational. Nature is irrational. Rationalizations haven't gotten results. I think it's time to put matters back in nature's hands. Laura, there are other options here. Holding us against our will to save the dinosaurs is only one poorly thought out solution. You're smarter than that, Laura. I know, Jerry. I know what I'm doing. I clearly express the consequences of threatening this island. 
I scored a line in the sand that has been ignored and trampled over by InGen, by the government, and now I exercise my resolve. Laura? I'm going to free the Mosasaur. Are you mad? A land dinosaur paddling to the mainland is one thing, but you're talking about releasing an apex predator into over 70% of the global ecosystem. It's only one. It can be recaptured. Before it eats the last of the humpbacks? Oh, don't be dramatic. Laura, don't. <gasps> Plan B. This island and the scientific treasure it holds, I have been forced to take an action. It's not too late. We can reverse this. No. I lock the system down. There's nothing you can do. I've opened the gates and the Mosasaur is free to leave. Laura, you have to- No, Jerry. This isn't up for debate. We have to show InGen- Look out! <laughs> Everybody, be cool and stay away from the window. Be cool? That's right. What? You want an I told you so? I don't know about you, but I came here to make a phone call. Hello, this is William Yoder, ID 4122. Put me through to Haskell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The U.S. Embassy. Report as follows. The island is completely overrun. Alpha team killed in action. Save one. Myself. Bravo team killed in action. Two helicopters disabled. Two civilian casualties. I have access to a seaworthy boat and I will evacuate the remaining survivors. Yes, sir. The military may proceed. 90 minutes. Understood, sir. Coming with me. There's going to be a tragic accident, Jerry. Nima, we have everything we need. We're finishing this without them. What? No. What do you mean, no? We've got an agreement, remember? Our agreement doesn't involve killing Jerry and Jess. What's going on? Sorry, Jerry. I was sent here to retrieve dinosaur embryos from InGen. I... I don't understand. You're... you're a corporate spy? Yes. Damn it, Nima! I trusted you! It's not like that. Yoder took the can. He wants it for himself. I'm trying to help you and Jess. What can? A can of shaving cream. It has a compartment to smuggle the embryos off the island. Damn it, Nima. You're blowing it! No, you are. Oscar put his faith in you. He may have been a devil, but he wore his sins on his arm for everyone to see. You... You are just a mask with nothing behind it. No, you can't do this! Don't you care? Don't you care about Oscar or Decap? That's enough! 
Everyone stay back. I'm gonna give you a sporting chance here. Billy, Once wait. Once I let go of the spoon, there ain't no coming back. Don't do this! Is anybody hurt? Is everyone all right? You mean, besides being trapped in this bubble by that desgraciado, we're as good as dead. Don't say that. Somebody might, somebody will come for us. Oh, Jerry. Yoder left us here. He'll take the boat and not tell anyone about us. Maybe he won't take the boat. He has the canister. He knows where the boat is. He, uh doesn't have the canister. What? I'm sorry. I promise not to steal anymore. Okay, but... that one's a freebie. Jerry, look! Oh, great. Just great. Why is it flooding? Must be the damage to the door. We're losing air pressure. This place will flood right up to the highest hole in the room. Damn it! Even if we could open the door against the pressure, the whole rotunda is flooded. There's nowhere to go. Wait a second. I remember. Maybe there still is a way out. If we swim. Swim? swim? We won't make it 20 feet with that Mosasaur swimming around. Maybe. Look at that pipeline. It leads out of this lagoon. There are caves at the far end. Those caves connect to others that lead back to the beaches. We use the pipeline as cover. And you think we can hold our breath the whole way? Dad, look! There's diving gear! No, 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 no. We don't know the first thing about scuba diving. I do. What? We have to distract the Mosasaur. Figure something out and meet us back down here. Scuba diving? Come on! How could this be so complicated? I don't know thing one about diving. Dad, don't mess with the mixture valve. They're all preset. Since when do you know about diving? Remember those lessons you wouldn't let me take? Did your mother override my decision? Um, actually, Steve bought me lessons. It was a secret. Mom's boyfriend? Yeah. If it's any constellation, I got grounded and Steve slept on the couch for a week. take for this room to flood. Let's not find out, Dad. Do we need the wetsuits? The water should be warm. This deep, and this time of the day, we would totally go hyperthermic. Don't worry, Dad. Neoprene makes everyone look good. It's not my modesty I'm worried about. How are you holding up, Jess? Okay, I guess. I'd feel a lot better if we weren't trapped in the bottom of the lagoon. Don't worry, we're going to get out of this. Are you sure about these sea caves? I used to swim this lagoon as a child. With the air tanks, it'll be easy. Famous last words. Pardon? Nothing. I'll be right back. Feeder program.
Hatchery B, Pool 4. That looks like the one scheduled for today's feeding. That ought to keep it busy. Okay, hon. What do we do? Dad, I changed my mind. These are rebreathers and I've never actually used one. I'm not ready for this. Hey, you can do no. this. No! What if something goes wrong? I don't want to do this. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. No, 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 it's okay, hon. No teenager should ever have to go through something like this. But look how far we've come. You've been so incredibly brave. You can do this. I will be with you every step of the way. I just... I just don't want you to go away. I'm so tired of you always going away. I know, honey, but I'm here right now. And I'm not going to leave you alone. I'll be here with you all the way. Now, what's the diver signal for OK? It's universal, duh. <laughs> right, right. Well, I promise to signal you whenever you check on me, OK? I'm scared. I am too. But I know we'll make it with your help. OK, Jess, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. So how do these things work? Well, these are closed circuit rebreathers. They look custom designed. The tank is small, maybe 15 minutes of air. Is that enough? But it recycles the air you exhale. It should work for about 45 minutes. Try not to freak out, you use air faster. You might even mess up the CO2 scrubbers. That sounds bad. CO2 poisoning is totally bad. This is the regulator. It's built into the mask. It wants to help you breathe. Don't fight it. And don't hold your breath. Okay, don't hold my breath. That's it. The suit's mostly automated. It'll keep you, like, buoyant and manage your oxygen. Oh, and try to swim casual. Swim casual? Don't spaz out. It attracts sharks. What about mosasaurs? Probably them, too. Turn around.
By the lighthouse. Yes, that must be it. Wait. I don't see anyone on it. Maybe a dinosaur ate them. Maybe Billy ate them. Oh! Well, well, well. Fortune smiles upon the brave. Hey, Dad! I thought I'd worked everything out. Hadn't accounted for a little thief here. Well played, Jess. Well played. But then... I was sure I had buried my ticket off this island at the bottom of the sea. But... Lo and behold! You slippery sons of bitches survived. Wait, 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 wait. Did you... did you swim out of there? You bastard. What will your bosses think when they learn that you tried to murder us? But they won't learn about that. Because one way or another, you're not gonna tell them. I just don't know how we got to this point, Nima. You were the last one of my kind I thought I could trust. Things didn't start out that way, but we had worked out a mutually beneficial deal! But now, I don't even have that. All that's left for me is that damn canister. Now hand it over, Missy. Nice one. Almost hurt. You looking for this? You know, things don't have to be this way. We'll kiss and make up and share this payout just like we planned. I am sorry I did not see your true self long ago. I could have saved us all a lot of trouble and kicked your ass to begin with. Come on, don't make this easy for me. Come on, Nima. You're a merc just like me. You got bills to pay? Are these two really worth all this? It's not about the money anymore. I'm not gonna let you hurt these people. No more talk. Shut up and fight. go? Is that the little thing we're fighting over? Oh, huh? What? That, what's that? I can have it? Why so generous all of a sudden? Mm. You wanna be the hero? Just... You wanna break our deal! Do you feel that? Oh my god. Stop! You wanna make new friends? Yoder! Nima, I don't like it.
Hey, she had a difficult decision to make. We don't always get to do the right thing, honey. Yeah, I guess. What now, Dad? I guess you're kind of out of a job. That's all right. I quit. No more dinosaurs for me. I think I'll try to get my old job back at the Dallas Zoo. Elephants are a little more my speed anyway. Coming back to Dallas? Why not? Think it's a good idea? If you're serious. All right, then. Dallas it is. But first, I have a promise to keep. There's a little girl in Costa Rica that needs our help.